Hey everybody, and welcome to the next map that I'm going to play, which is Pantora Frozen Tundra. This is another map that is part of the Clone Wars Extended Mod. There are actually two Pantora maps on there. Uh, one of them I have already done on the channel, but it was under the name Alzoc 3. So I'm not entirely sure what's, uh, what's the deal with that. But this map I definitely have not done. It's actually very cool, uh, because... The clone units you get here are very beautifully done. They're incredibly detailed. Properly feel different, where of course the vanilla game only takes um, these clones, the red ones, and does not give you any other variety. And you can see there that we have one a giant tunnel over there and a big open field where also the battle takes place. Now the interesting thing here, again, the tunnel itself, there are no, um, it, it's not branching off. So it's basically one trench or one tunnel uh, and that's about it. You can never flank and that is something we have not, or we have rarely seen because usually if people put in a, a cave section, they do a whole maze type situation and this time that's not the case and it could work out in his favor or not see we are now in uh, quite a bit of a pickle here because we lost that point so now we have to pu push it back but since there's only one way through that's really difficult Oh, again I love also the new skins of the vehicles very pretty Love how crystal clear the map in itself is. The other one, the one we did, which was originally Alsoc 3, is very blurry. Uh, however, that does actually do the thing that I talked about with the cave system, where the western side of the map uh, are multiple tunnels where you could have your corridor based gameplay, you know, your Call of Duty like close quarter battles if you so desired, and with plenty of opportunity of flanking. Oh, look at that. This is not even capturable. Huh. What in God's name? I like these details, though. These wrecks that you have here. Daddy Mundi, we already saw him, of course. Oh. Come on, baby. There we go. I do think having one tunnel that is parallel to this one would be better. It is definitely an interesting um, onset to have one tunnel. Uh, the choke points that you will create by that are probably incredible. But as you can see here, what that results in is if one side dominates the tunnel, there's not a lot going on here. It's just me running down this empty tunnel, not having any action. Control of a command post. And if you have another one where the units can flank, or you maybe have more command posts, you could actually have a few more interesting battles here, because as you can see, uh, again, the onset is cool, but battle-wise, not that interesting. We finally have found now a battle here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I heard a droidica. I see a droidica. Oh, God. Wow, look at that. It actually even got to the point where we are losing... The outside too. Is any are any of our units actually going into the tunnel? That's something I would like to know. They're all ignoring it. Hmm. Yeah, not a big fan of that. That honestly is a bit of a quite a big letdown. You could actually 
by having like maybe a spawn point here or something, you could help that. Because again, there's no action happening here. This is not what you want as a map creator. Hopefully by now capturing this, there will be a few more units here, but even then, when I was attacking, you know, only one or two units would spawn here. Republic is in control of a command post. Do units even spawn? Yep, there you go. Alright, now they're finally on the move. Oh! Kiarimundi took that right to the face. Another officer battle. Oh, no, that's the wrong way. I will say that this is a map that supports a lot of game modes. It supports uh, this conquest, classic conquest, hunt mode, uh, and also the Order 66 where the clones are fighting the Jedi. Very cool, and I will also probably do someday some uh, of those custom uh, custom modes. I realize that most maps I only do once, and a few of these maps really have some cool alternatives, including uh, campaign mode or Excel mode or hunt mode that is very unique, or maybe you know a completely uh, separate mode like Order sixty six. So in the future, we might actually revisit some mods or maps. And just play a different mode, see how that goes. I know that with the Dark Times one, I did all the reviews in regular Conquest, and I definitely want to go back and do the campaign modes for each of the, of the maps. Oh, wait. Oh god, everybody's spawning. There we go. Now we're capturing. Another command post for the Republic. Don't get me wrong, I'm having fun capturing these points, but it feels a lot like a one man job. Uh, and I don't have the feeling that I'm part of this, you know, larger skill battle. Uh, it's not as well with AI as I would like it to be. So in terms of the maps we've done for now on with the uh, Clone Wars Extended, this is probably my least favorite one. Even though aesthetically I like it, the clone skins I like very much. It's just gameplay, it's not ideal. The open field itself... Not also too interesting. Actually, speaking of which, there was a giant vehicle here before that disappeared. Might actually be cool if you were able to blow that up. Oh, what are these dudes doing here? What is happening over here? What? Don't tell me they kill themselves like lemmings. Oh god, look at this crap. Uh oh. Yeah, this is now, now that I see this, this is definitely the weakest map, unfortunately. I'm not entirely sure what process they go through in order to be accepted in the Clone Wars Extended mod, uh, but if 
I were in charge there, I probably would say, because again, the map definitely has potential. I think the setup is very cool. Uh, the look of it is very cool too. Um, it would need uh, one do over, uh, you know, get a bit more polish. Because there's just, uh, it's, it's, it's a bit too rough around the edges. Oh my goodness. Immediately got shot. A very cool detail here, actually, that you have the dual pistols in first person as well. I have seen in other maps and mods where you have a dual wielding unit, yet if you switch to first person, uh, you only see one pistol in hand. It's only where you where you are in third person that you actually see it. Now we are also not able to capture that point over there, um, so we're going to be stuck here as so many of those units are there, so I'm actually going to end the video here. Here's the thing, if this was a uh, standalone map, I actually would not recommend downloading it, because again, it's not... There's just quite a bit wrong with it. Um, you know, the eye walking over there, getting stuck, not a lot happening in the tunnels. Um, you know, it would have to do a, to, to, to use a, re, uh, a redo. And then I think it will be a uh, very fun map to have, and uh, you can do some awesome battles here with these uh, with these custom units. So anyway, guys, if you still want to download the uh, the mod again, it's not the map that you will download; it's the mod, the Clone Wars Extended mod, which is just excellent and adds over 30 maps. Uh, many of them uh, are absolutely worth your time. Then you can find the download link in the description down below. Don't forget to let me know any recommendations or requests on maps or mods that you want to see on the channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.